all out of whack here. Can't just cut and paste that? No, because it wasn't recording the audio. <laughs> all right, the fine. audio seems to be working now. You want to give it a test, Micah? Test. Yeah, it's working for you, too. Cool. Mute Dog also contributing to 24. Oh, what are we at? What are we at, guys? 85%? 15% left, and then we have to do a 24-hour stream, Micah. That's not that much. That's not that that long. I, I think each of us donates about a percent each time we, <laughs> we log in. So if enough people are in donating, that's, that's going to be coming up here in like a couple weeks. Should probably start planning for that. Yeah, <laughs> monkey thunder. <clears throat> okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna go over the spiel again. Sorry for everybody that heard it. But for a millennia, people have been predicting what will be in the next Nintendo Direct. You see rumors, you see insiders, you see leakers, all trying to get a piece of the pie. They all want to know what's coming in the next Nintendo Direct. But we have a trick up our sleeves here tonight. We are going to be utilizing technology in order to get the most accurate Nintendo Direct predictions. We will be using AI, accessing a neural network. I'm like just throwing out like buzzwords here, Micah. So I, 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 like, I don't actually know uh, how all of this works. Uh, I should, being, <laughs> being a technical background. But essentially, this this website has access to bazillions, bazillions of writing samples and written information online. It is accessing that. It is more than any human brain can hold. And this AI will be pulling from all of that to generate what we will get here today. So... This could be the most accurate prediction that you could get. Technically, you're not wrong. It could be. It could be. So, <clears throat> in order to... Uh, how this works, we're, what we're going to be doing tonight, we're going to be using this website called Novel AI that generates stories and written essay like written things based off of what you give it i mean we could we could click right now and it would randomly generate just something completely random but we're gonna feed it the information that we think it needs in order to start us on predicting the next nintendo direct so i've written a bit of a uh like a, a bit of a primer to get the ai's the ai's uh brain started and we'll see we'll see what we get we have lots of options here. <laughs> Things could go off the rails. AI, uh, has, I don't know if anybody else here has done AI dungeon or anything like that before, but it can get stuck in loops <laughs> where it will keep bringing the same points up over and over again, slightly differently. Sometimes it'll just randomly have you stab yourself in your legs. Yep, that happened to Micah on his uh, AI adventure. Uh, After I did a backflip. I immediately pulled out knives and stabbed myself in both legs. <laughs> it's a great story. We tested this beforehand and got some pretty hilarious things. Uh, so I, 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 I am, I am very hopeful, but also slightly scared for what we're about to see. Uh, <laughs> we, we, this could be anything. We could literally get anything here. So let's, let's put in our our prompt here. We're gonna need help from people in chat. Because where, where did I where did I put that? It's it's on here somewhere. Because I've made it a, a little bit of a Mad Libs. Hello. Oh, oh yeah, we're about to we're about to become the most insider of insiders that you will have ever seen. Welcome to chat, by the way, Purple Rayu. Okay. So. What I need from uh, people in chat, do we know of any rumored games that will be shown in the next Direct? I, I know off offhand, I know there's there's still that floating rumor of a, a Donkey Kong game coming. <coughs> so give us any rumors that you, that you can think of. We'll feed it three rumors, and we'll also feed it three things we're hopeful to see. 
Uh, so I'll, I'll, I'll start here with this, with this read. Make sure I've got all my ducks in order here. All right. With E3 canceled yet again, Nintendo fans begin to wonder if there will be a summer Nintendo Direct for 2022. Many rumors about a possible Direct. Uh, many rumors swirl about a possible Direct happening in mid-June. Rumors of Fire Emblem. Yes, uh, yeah, I do remember that. We... Rumors of a new Fire Emblem game. We also had a new Donkey Kong game. And Wind Waker Twilight Princess Remaster? I see you skipping right over Metroid Prime. I see you're going to oh, put oh, that oh, in the oh, fans oh, oh. are hopeful to see, right? I was going to put Prime 4 in the hopeful, I, I think. Uh, I feel like the Metroid Prime rumors are stronger than the Wind Waker ones. So I'm going to put that or in. The remake? Yeah. Or trilogy? I think it was just Metroid Prime 1. Oh, was it? Mm-hmm. All right, what are we hopeful to see, guys? I think Breath of the Wild 2, I think, is... is... I'll put the full title in. The sequel to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Oh my gosh, I cannot spell, y'all. The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Metroid Prime 4? I think we got to put that in oh, for Micah. you know it. I'll riot if you don't. That's two Metroid Prime, so maybe we'll get... Maybe this AI will be very nice to us this tonight. Is, oh, that'd be sweet, yeah. Okay, what did we I'll probably say something about Metroid Prime 14. Anybody in chat got anything they're hoping to see? I know we, we I see some Metroid Prime... See Wind Waker Twilight Princess Remaster. Breath of the Wild, Metroid Prime 4, and of course, 3D Mario. That's right, yeah. I'm, I'm just going to say a new 3D Mario. We'll be we'll be super specific here. Super Mario game. <laughs> Star Fox. Listen, I'm just gonna do three, but if we get stuck somewhere, we can throw in Star Fox <coughs> to see if we can if we can get a primer for that. Uh, in. <laughs> Should we share what what we got in in the uh, in the test that we did before, Micah? I might as well. So we got it. It predicted that we would get a port of Animal Crossing New Leaf called Animal Crossing New Leaf. Welcome to Amiibo Festival. <laughs> well, everyone was hoping for. <laughs> And it tie it would tie in with the uh, end with, crossing a uh, pocket camp. Yep, yep. <laughs> Is there any popular JRPGs that people want? Um. I guess we can put in people expect to see more info on. Xenoblade Chronicles 3. Splatoon 3. And Bayonetta 3. <laughs> it's 
So we'll, we'll we'll have that in there. So this is a lot of games that we're that we're giving we're giving the AI here. So we'll, we'll see what happens here. So okay. So let me, let me start from the top here. With E3 canceled yet again, Nintendo fans begin to wonder if there will be a summer Nintendo Direct for 2022. Many rumors swirl about the possible Direct happening in mid-June. Rumors of a new Fire Emblem game, a Donkey Kong game, and a Metroid Prime 1 remake have floated online. Nintendo fans are hopeful to see the sequel to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, Metroid Prime 4, and of course, a new 3D Super Mario game. People expect to see more info on Xenoblade. I said that so weird. Xenoblade? Xenoblade. How do you... Should I pronounce the X in, in Xenoblade? You just pronounce it like a Z, I think. Yeah. Xenoblade. <laughs> I mean, I, I do like that. It has a nice flair to it. It does, it does. Xenoblade Chronicles 3, Splatoon 3, and Bayonetta 3. But just when they were about to give up hope a presentation was announced. So, in our test, we didn't use this paragraph at all. It was just this bottom paragraph. So I'm keeping this because it worked pretty well. Here we go. Now Nintendo is about to start their ne their... Now Nintendo is about to start their next Nintendo Direct. A presentation where they show trailers for new video games. The fans are hyped. They had all read the tweet. Tune in for a Nintendo Direct live stream featuring roughly 50 minutes of information focused on games coming to the Nintendo Switch in the second half of 2022 and early 2023. Shinya Takashi, I, I'm going to pronounce their names wrong, sorry everybody. Shinya Takashi and Yoshiaki Koizumi will be presenting the upcoming games. What new things will be coming to Nintendo's console? question mark this should have been a question mark shall we see what we get <clears throat> send remember everyone this is very legit <laughs> the presentation starts with a trailer for mario tennis aces uh they've already we already have that the trailer shows mario playing tennis against a giant luigi it shows it also shows him fighting an enemy that looks like Bowser Jr., but it isn't really clear. Um, Did you uh, face giant people in that game previously? Yes, you can. Oh, uh, okay. I th I th wasn't, wasn't that a thing? Like, No, wait. That was, uh, that was the Wii U version that you could turn into giant Ultra Smash. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's like mixed aces with ultra smash okay yeah i mean well, it's it's starting to look like a, a potentially a free update for uh mario tennis aces. should we continue or should we undo since it's giving us a game that's already out uh, might as well continue all right we'll continue it's just a it's an update next yoshiaki koizumi shows off a trailer for metroid prime one remake he plays through a section of the game showing samus as she explores the space station. Then he goes into some gameplay footage. Is that not what he was doing? <laughs> no, 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 he was <laughs> playing, and now it's now it's showing footage. All right, all right, so uh, Metroid Prime 1 Remake. You heard it here first. Maybe. Finally, he says the game will be released in 2019. Mm. <laughs> What do we? What do we? I, I don't. I don't even know what we put for that. We'll. <laughs> we'll see if. <laughs> it still says 2019. <laughs> Very adamant. I know it's funny because I like explicitly say up here that it's for 2022 and 2023. It's already out, everybody. Metroid Prime One remakes already here. Then we go into the first of many Smash Bros. trailers. They show the same gameplay from the previous one, but this time it's been edited together so you can watch each character fight each other. <laughs> uh, not sure how much editing they'd need for that. <laughs> uh, 
The last part of the trailer shows every single fighter in the game. This is followed by a trailer for Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, which will be released in December. All right, I think I think it's stuck giving us like old direct info. So let's... I like where we're at with, with this. I'm going to just give Metroid Prime a 2022 Nebula State. I know we're, we're kind of taking control of the... If you can't you can't doubt the AI. Yeah, I'm just taking the new stuff. <clears throat> I know this none of this stuff happened in 2019. <laughs> that. Okay. The presentation starts with Yoshiaki Koizumi showing oh we'll, we'll change that. Showing off a trailer for Metroid Prime 4 remake. Okay. Okay, let's see what we get now. Shinya Tak Takashi shows us a new trailer for Fire Emblem Heroes. Showing is Krom. That is... That's that's the app, I'm pretty sure. Uh, Krom, yeah, so Korin, and new? Lucina battling against an enemy. He then goes into some gameplay footage. He says that Fire Emblem Heroes will be available in 2022. Okay. All right. Nothing new so far. That was just like, a, hey, here's an update to Fire Emblem Heroes. Maybe it's maybe coming, it's to, coming the Switch. to Switch. Maybe it's coming to the Switch. Yoshiaki Koizumi shows us a trailer for... No, why does it keep wanting to show us Smash Bros. Ultimate? <laughs> show, us, <laughs> show us something new. Yoshiaki Koizumi shows us a trailer for Donkey Kong Country Returns 3D. I don't think that's a game that exists. I think this is a new game. As far as I know. So, so is it Donkey Kong Country Returns uh, like a sequel? <laughs> this doesn't sound... Okay, okay, whoa. Wait. It is on the 3DS? <laughs> We'll retry. <clears throat> it seems very adamant to show us things that have already come out. <laughs> like Mario. <laughs> it's like, yeah, we're going to see Mario Tennis Aces. Okay, hold on. We're going to prime this. It wants to show us a Donkey Kong game, so we'll, we'll do that. A new game in the Donkey Kong series. Donkey Kong... In the Donkey series? In the Donkey Kong <laughs> series. What do you think we'll get here? Do you think we'll get Tropical Freeze again? <laughs> Maybe Tropical Freeze 2. Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze. The trailer shows Diddy Kong and Donkey Kong racing around a tropical island, jumping on enemies. It seems like it seems like it's stuck. Yeah, it's just giving us the same things. Okay. What can we give it what can we give it that will change things up? Oh man, they fall out of a rocket ship and land on a giant turtle though. They could port it. <laughs> okay. The game will be called. We'll see if we can get it to, to spit out a new name. Oh, I, I guess I have to hit send. <laughs> it just it just it's stuck it's like no Dro donkey kong country tropical freeze we go back to the present day and shinya takashi talks about the next game donkey kong country yeah it's re it's really stuck okay let's see here it is very confident this ai that we will be getting donkey, donkey kong, kong country, country tropical freeze, freeze. That's a new title, Donkey Kong Rocket Rescue, and it will be available in 2021. 
just changed after 2022. <laughs> then we get to see an animal. Okay, wait, wait, wait a second. The AI is all of a sudden doing. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. Then we get to see a trailer for Animal Crossing New Leaf 2. It seems like the villagers are preparing for a festival. They're building a stage and setting up chairs. Festival, you say? There's also a large tent being built in the background. When the camera zooms in on the tents, you can see a bunch of animals inside them. One of the first things I notice is that there is no sign of Tom Nook. <laughs> the AI became sentient all of a sudden. It's like, hey, I notice that there's no Tom Nook in the tree. Just giving, just giving us a little extra info. I, okay, so, so, so far we're getting Metroid Prime 1 Remake. We're getting Fire Emblem Heroes on the Switch. Donkey Kong Rocket Rescue. And Sounds pretty cool. Animal Crossing New Leaf 2. Pretty hype direct so far, I'd say. I'd say. That's that's some big titles. <clears throat> what kind of world is this? Then we hear a dog barking. Then we get to see the townspeople dancing in front of the stage. Then we get to see the mayor walking around the village. After that, we get to see a new trailer for... It really wants to throw in Mario Tennis Aces. Give us something different. For a new Mario Kart game. This one has characters from Star Fox, Yoshi, Bowser Jr.? Whoa, what? <laughs> oh, wait a second. Mario Kart 9. Then we get to see a new trailer for a new Smash Bros. game. This one features characters from Splatoon, Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games, and Mario Party. Um, <clears throat> the AI knows, all right? So even if this doesn't... Yeah, even if this doesn't seem likely... I mean, we're this is channeling. I, this is this is channeling and pooling data from all over online to predict what we're going to get. So, I <laughs> I'm a little bit mind blown that that it specifically calls out Star Fox characters, and then it's like, yeah, and Yoshi and Bowser Jr. and the usual. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, I do like the uh, the new Smash Bros. having <laughs> characters from. <coughs> Mario and Sonic <laughs> at the Olympics. <laughs> wow, okay. This is getting this is getting juicy, everybody. We already got a new Animal Crossing game. Okay, we'll we'll take that out. Okay, so it says a new Pokemon game. I'm going to assume that it's talking about the new Pokemon game. Pokemon Scarlet. Or and Violet. Violet. So let's see what let's see what new things we learn about Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. <clears throat> the main character is red. He has a scarf wrapped around his head and a backpack. His trainer <laughs> is a girl named Blue. She has short brown hair and blue eyes. Then we get to see a bit of gameplay footage. I think it's uh, pulling from the names and just <laughs> making sure to mention colors a lot. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna undo that one. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. I love how Red became a Pokemon in that scenario. Okay. <clears throat> the Pokemon in this game seem to be based off the Pokemon that appeared in Pokemon Moon. Finally, we get to see a new trailer for the new Zelda game. That's it. In this trailer, we see Link riding his horse and running across the fields. So much information. <laughs> yeah, very, I mean, very similar to uh, the Breath of the Wild reveal trailer then we see him fighting against an enemy then we see link climbing up a mountain 
We also see him using the bow and arrow to shoot down a bird. <laughs> At the end of the trailer, we get to see a new logo for the new game. Okay, okay. Is it going to mention more about it? Okay, um, so <coughs> this is a lot of first party stuff. I'm, I'm, I'm noticing that it's not mentioning any third party, so maybe we should feed it some, th like a prompt to get it going on some third party information. Also, I mean, where's my Metroid Prime 4? <laughs> even the AI <laughs> doesn't believe <laughs> Metroid Prime 4. Obviously, this AI is broken. <laughs> but I mean already this is a packed direct we're about to get everybody um, I, I did like this so when we did our test it it first gave us a bunch of repeat games like it was like we're getting a port of uh, it, it did say we were getting Donkey Kong Tropical Freeze 2 specifically and then it was like um <clears throat> yeah, apparently New Leaf 2 is more likely than Metroid Prime 4. <laughs> I think this this means we just can't trust anything this AI says. Um I don't know, Micah. This might make it more more plausible of, of a prediction. It did give you Metroid Prime 1 remake. It led with that actually, which is pretty impressive. Um it means they should close with Prime 4. I, I totally got sidetracked on what I was what I was talking about there. Oh oh, in our test, it said fans clapped politely, but were clearly disappointed by the announcements, and it was so funny because it felt so accurate to how <laughs> the reaction to directs is on like Twitter. I was like, this is this is too real. It's too real. Except for without the clapping politely. Just the disappointment. Okay. Next, we see some games from third parties. Do you think that's enough? You can always try. We'll try it. If if that's not enough, we can go back and we can we can poll chat and see what third parties we'd like to see games from. <clears throat> Such as a new trailer for a Smash Bros. game. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like it's going to be similar to Brawl, but with a few changes. <laughs> the characters in this oh. game look a lot more detailed. Okay, well, let's see what we get. I'll try one more time here. Okay, so so Kingdom Hearts 3 is already on Switch. Maybe it meant uh, 4. Maybe? I don't, I don't know if we should change that one. But this game here, is there a game called Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite? There is indeed. There is? Of course. And I definitely knew that without having to look it up. Huh. I've never heard of that game. I, I guess with that subtitle, I've heard Marvel vs. Capcom. Okay, let's let's see what we can get here if we do. If we do this, a new Kingdom Hearts game. But we'll we'll try and see if we can spit out a new title. <laughs> and Fortnite, of course, that's what we need. So, uh, so Wait, gonna... I I like how they change instead of three, they do the Roman numeral <laughs> yeah. version of three. <laughs> all in all, the presentation was a success. Wow, 
Um, <laughs> I love this so much. This is so great. I, I feel like the the things that it's giving are so are 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 so like what people want, sort of. And it it's like pulling from a you can tell that it's pulling from a lot of uh, information from previous directs and people writing about previous directs. Uh, so none of these are new games. So should we just retry on all on all the third party stuff? Yeah, I mean, Marvel versus Capcom is new to Switch, I believe. <clears throat> So we'll leave that one in. I'll see if I can get Kingdom Hearts to spit out a better title. We'll put in a colon, so it'll be like a subtitle. Put it. Put in the. Afterwards. <laughs> okay. Get a little bit started. <laughs> Let's see what we get. Wait for it to say third. The dream Kingdom drop Hearts distance. <laughs> And then it did Fortnite again. Okay, hold on. Let's let's just let's just wait. The Dream Drop Distance. Yeah, is that's that the name. Yeah, that's the oh, three. Oh. That's the three DS one. It sounds like a made up name. Okay, now it's just it, it's it's stuck again. It's using like and old Street games. Street Fighter. <laughs> Okay. Um, we've already gotten Dragon Quest Builders too. I, I like. I don't know what. To, I don't know what to feed it. I am assuming that Skullgirls Second Encore is an actual game? Question mark. You want to look? You want to look Probably. that one up? I'm like, it seems like it's a port of the first Skullgirls game. Is this a game I have never heard of before? <clears throat> it is indeed. That's very good reviews on Steam. Okay. So we're getting a port of Skullgirls 2, uh, Skullgirls second encore. And then we see a trailer for a new game called Doom Eternal. We already have that. I think it's actually already on uh, Switch. Skullgirls? Skullgirls, yeah. Wait a second. Death Stranding is coming to Switch, everybody. All right, all right. Um... It has Kojima as the main character. <laughs> I'm I am just absolutely loving this. Okay, so Skullgirls Second Encore is already on Switch. Supposedly. So we'll pull these out because those are already on Switch. So a new trailer for a port of Death Stranding. Okay. <laughs> it really wants Kingdom Hearts 3. <coughs> I like now when it when it throws up these oh, third you party got games. Rid of the Bayonetta 3 part. I didn't there was a Bayonetta 3 part. Wait, wait. Yeah, there's a, a new trailer. Where? <laughs> I don't know. I, I have to watch on stream, so I'm like seven seconds behind. I didn't even see that. <clears throat> All right.
And lastly, we get to see a new trailer for Grow Home. Uh, <laughs> I've got to look this one up on the side. Is this an actual game? It, it must be. It says it came out on the Xbox 360. <laughs> Are you a flower, a plant, or are you actually a robot, though? Wait a second. <laughs> you're, it looks like you're a robot that harvests seeds and stuff like that. So... The possibility. I mean, you do try and grow a really big plant. Okay, so, so apparently, so this is a Ubisoft game. I mean, this doesn't seem too unlikely to me, to to come over. So, it's a puzzle platformer where you play as a plant who wants to grow bigger and stronger. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> okay. So, with every good direct, with every good direct. So, I'm, I'm, we'll, we'll read what we've got here. Next, we see some games from third parties, such as another new trailer for a game called Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite. The game has characters from all over Marvel Comics and Street Fighter. Which, that's not right. <laughs> Wait a second. Street... Is Street Fighter in... Wait, this is... Right? Yeah, that's right. That's right. No, that's right. I mix up. I mix up who makes what. Capcom does Street Fighter. And then we get a trailer for a port of Death Stranding, which is huge. That is huge. It seems like the game that has it seems like a game that has Kojima as the main character. And we get to see a new trailer for Grow Home. This game is a game that was released on the Xbox 360 and PS3. It was a puzzle platformer where you play as a plant that wants to grow bigger and stronger. So, what will every good direct at this point in the presentation has a montage, right? So, next we see a montage of games from a variety of developers <clears throat> and then we will we will we will feed it to give us one more thing I think every direct's got that right like it's going to end with one more thing at the end so what are we going to see here The Last of Us Part 2 coming to Switch interesting to throw that into the montage <laughs> oh yeah uh, i thought that would for sure have its own special slot <laughs> we'll also see a group of people wearing animal masks we also see a girl with a gun <laughs> all right okay and ghosts of tsushima oh wow <laughs> these are this is a big montage <laughs> they're bold predictions <laughs> Maybe we maybe we backpedal this. I feel like this is this is. No, a... we you have to trust the AI. Okay, I got I got gotcha, you. I got gotcha. you. And some indie games. Here comes Smash Bros. Ultimate or something. <laughs> Uh, we've we've already seen that before. Also, why did it? <coughs> Yoku's Island Express. I feel like that's I have seen that before. I don't remember what that is. It's funny because it's just like pulling games out of like out of nowhere. That's already on Switch. What are you do? What are you doing? What are you doing, AI? You can't predict things that are already here. Okay. Hmm. 
Hollow Knight and Life is Strange 2, both already on Switch. Whoa, I accidentally opened up the uh, debug. My bad. All right. No, it just, it just ends. <laughs> games inspired by games like Spelunky and Super Meat Boy. A new trailer for Undertale. I think I think I think our AI may be uh, a little bit too reliant on the past. Just a little. That's too much past knowledge. Yeah. <clears throat> how do we get it? How do we get it to make new titles? Brand new indie game titles. Never before seen. Never before seen. Maybe this will work. <laughs> I have a feeling it's not. <laughs> Shadow of the Tomb Raider. Kingdom Come Deliverance. <laughs> well, I've heard of Shadow of the Tomb Raider. I assume wow, the okay, also... well, wait a second. It just spat out a list. Project Octopath Traveler. Seen that. Yonder, the Cloud Catcher Chronicles. I don't recognize that one. You want to look that one up, Micah? Dead Cells is already here. <laughs> I I do yep. like I, I do like its enthusiasm. Yonder. Yonder is also on Switch. <laughs> How about flipping death? We're gonna. We're just gonna. We're just gonna take. We're just gonna help the AI out a little bit here. I know that we we trust the AI. We do trust it. But yep. <clears throat> obviously, new also games. Also on Switch. Flipping death. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. Let's see what. Let's see what we get here. Ooblets, Vampire, Rive, and it's about to say Night in the Woods. I know that is already there. I'm pretty sure Vampire is. Ooblets is already coming. Overcooked is coming. Dauntless is already here. Skulls of the Shogun. I, are you familiar with that one, Micah? My, I like having Micah on the side here, like looking at I'm these not. Up. <laughs> I, I feel like I've, I, I have heard of a lot of these. Which one are you looking up? Uh, Skulls of the Shogun. That doesn't... It looks like it might not be on Switch. Oh, wait. Jotun is already on Switch. Yeah, I, I thought I read Bonafide Edition? That is on Switch? Yeah. The fancy edition of that game, it looks like. All right. <clears throat> Kung Fury 2, Space Team, Rive, Space Team, wait, isn't Space Team that, like, app? Yeah, we've played on things. I'm pretty sure that's not on Switch. Okay, okay, Space Team coming to Switch, that doesn't... That doesn't shock me. I mean that that would be that would be interesting. I like I like how I'm just like treating this like I'm like I'm reading an actual leak. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right, we're seeing space team. I don't I don't know if there's a, a Kung Fury two. There's Kung Fury uh, Street Rage. Kung Fury 2 is a movie. Yeah. Who so knows? Maybe we're just getting the movie. <laughs> well, it's is it it's based off of a game, it looks like. I think the game's actually based off of the movie. 
Kung Fury battles Hitler and a mysterious new villain in 1985 Miami. Wait, is this that like insane <laughs> movie trailer? I I feel like yeah yeah it has David Hasselhoff as. <laughs> I remember this trailer. Okay, okay, I'm remembering. So so there's a game coming out based off the movie, but we're seeing the sequel here. We're we're seeing the sequel already. So, all right. I mean, that's new. What what about Rive? <laughs> uh, I feel like I've played that on Switch. Yeah, that that's already on Switch. Okay, let's let's see what what other I I just want to get us a good a good collection of montage here because after this everybody we're gonna take this list of games that the direct gives us and we're gonna try and do a generated a generated artwork for at least some of the highlights of of the of the direct then we'll we'll make some cover art because the AI doesn't end here the AI does not end here okay. Kung Fury 2, Space Team, Dreams, The Messenger, Astrobot, I'm fairly certain is a PlayStation exclusive. So that or am I thinking No, Astro's play, Astro's Playroom. That's PlayStation, right? Yeah. <clears throat> the Good Life. I have not heard of that. <coughs> Or the park. I'll look these ones up on the side here, Micah. Guys, this 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 AI generated direct is so hype. It's insane. I can't I can't believe how many th just huge titles it's giving. <laughs> I love how it like puts Ghosts of Tsushima and The Last of Us Part Two in this montage. You're just like like <laughs> that would absolutely blow my mind if that <laughs> happened. <laughs> I'm like, what is happening right now? We're getting Ghosts of Tsushima? Those have to be, like, cloud versions, though, right? Like, they won't say, because they're in the montage. But... Yeah. Yo, RetroLogic, thank you so much for the raid. Appreciate that. It's our buddy Third Strongest Mole coming in. All right, so... <coughs> Astrobot Rescue Mission is apparently going to come to Switch. I mean, they PlayStation apparently just just uh, just opened the floodgates and let Nintendo have everything. I mean, we're getting Ghost of Tsushima, uh, The Last of Us Part Two, <laughs> Astrobot Rescue Mission. Did you look up the other ones, Micah? Uh, maybe. No, you did not. You, you liar. The park. Technically, I didn't lie. <coughs> Turns out the park might be uh, a horror game. And not what I was expecting. It is already on Switch, it looks like. The Park, Para Nintendo Switch. For some reason, the top result is in Spanish. So uh, maybe maybe it's uh, exclusive. <laughs> it's exclusive <coughs> to different regions that speak Spanish. Not here. Okay, so um, I gotta I gotta get back to that tab. So so the Park is already there. The Good Life. I feel like Oh yeah, yeah, the good life. I've I have seen this game. This is the one with the reporter that can turn into a dog. So that one's that one's a no. Um I think we still need a couple more for the montage. We still need a couple more for the montage here. So we'll we'll see what 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 we get. Um, again, <laughs> it's giving us the same ones again. War Groove is definitely on here. Dandara, does anybody know? Is that one on Switch already? Hmm. 
Yes. That's already out. Super Cloud Built, though? I've never heard of that. Yeah, I haven't heard of it. I don't think it's on Switch. <coughs> yeah, it doesn't look like it. But it, there's like a bunch of... I, the results are like 50 games that are like Super Cloud Built. Okay. Uh... Micah, what do you think? Do you think this is enough for a montage? That's only like six games. I don't know. I don't I mean, know how much. Yeah, I, th I think two of the montages will be slightly longer than most montage clips. So I think that's <laughs> probably good. I'm going to do one more. We'll do one more go and see if we get anything new. Fez 2. That doesn't exist. Does it? That's a that's a brand new game. And also would be absolutely mind-blowing to be in... These ones are both... All, all, all three of these are already on the Switch. <laughs> Monster Boy in the Starlink battle for Atlas already. That's like... All right. All right, we'll do some quick research here. Make sure these aren't already on Switch. Lumo is. Lumo is? Okay. <coughs> Fez 2 was canceled. However, the AI predicts it's coming back. So we'll 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 go with that. I'm like fairly Battle Right is not on Switch. It, I'm fairly certain Monster Boy and Cursed Kingdom is, but I'll, I'll check. Yes, that that one is okay. I but that's that's enough. We got a couple more games. We got a couple more games added. A Labo mower attachment for playing Switch while lawn mowing. That would be fantastic, Dad. Son. Very convenient for you and I, who 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 do mow and and stream at the same time. I, it'd also be good for a uh, Mario Odyssey kind of, because then it, you already have your like built-in shaking for your controller for speed running. You're right. Okay, so now everybody, this is the big this is the big one here. Finally, we have um, who's gonna come on here? We'll we'll have finally, Yoshiaki Koizumi closes the presentation. But wait. We still have one more thing to show you. <laughs> the screen fades to black. And then... You think that's a good enough primer? <laughs> yeah. All right. And then nothing happens. What are we going to get for the closing thing? What's going to be the one more thing for this Nintendo Direct? I don't know if you noticed, uh, you said the screen fades to bulk. <laughs> a new logo appears. Then the logo disappears, and we get to see the logo of a new game. It is the logo of a new game called Super Smash Bros. for the Nintendo Switch. The fans go wild. Um, I mean, they don't say ultimate, so this could be a new Super Smash Bros. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna nix that one. I don't, I don't think that that is. You should leave the part where it manages to say logo like four times. 
<laughs> a new logo appears. Then the logo disappears, and we get to see a logo for the new game. It's the logo. <laughs> like, it's very, it's very in on. I thought for sure after saying seeing that so many times, it was going to throw Metroid Prime Four at the very end. I thought for just a second, I was like, no way. <laughs> oh, that All right. Incredible. All right. One more thing. Come on, AI. Give us something good. Not a thing we've seen already. This has to be new or like something that isn't out already. <laughs> it's Skyrim. <laughs> the Elder Scrolls 6. I would say it's a sequel. Wait a second. <laughs> The news Wait, of the release of the new Elder Scrolls 6 Skyrim was so shocking. The okay. The sequel to Skyrim will be called Skyrim. <laughs> I think this game is a sequel to a game called Skyrim. The title of the game is Elder Scrolls 6. We'll we'll try we'll try re-rolling the dice here. It's not going to be Skyrim, right? <laughs> I can't believe it's predicting Elder Scrolls 6 for the one more thing. I mean, this is pretty mind-blowing. I would I would be shocked. I would be like, no! I, I, you can see me losing it. You can see, you can see the, I mean, play the clip of Sora being introduced into Smash Bros. And me screaming as loud as possible. <coughs> Skyrim Blades. I, I yeah, I, I feel like... I feel like we'll we'll try that we'll try that one more time. We well, a new a new thing, not Skyrim. I know. I I know the AI is probably very confused because <laughs> with how many re-releases Skyrim has, all the information out there for Skyrim. Come on, give us something different. <laughs> Please, just give us, just give us like. <laughs> anything besides Skyrim. <coughs> what if we give it a letter? What if we give it a letter that isn't S? Oh, yeah. <laughs> that isn't S. Or, or maybe the. Who knows? Maybe we just do the Skyrim. The Skyrim. <coughs> the Elder Scrolls Six. What letter should we feed it? M for Mo, says Datsun. Do do we have any arguments there? M for Micah also works. I feel like M this... for Metroid Prime 4? Oh, what am I doing? Oh no, we've run out of <laughs> we've run out of ink. <laughs> we'll never know! We'll never know what happens here. Wait, I don't want to lose any of this info. <coughs> It'd be a real big bummer if it just disappears. All right. Well, I think that's where we're going to end then. We get Elder Scrolls Six coming to the Nintendo Switch. Absolutely, absolutely mind-boggling direct here that we that we have predicted. Clearly, it's going to happen because the AI has accessed all information that it can from the web from all of from all of its sources in order to generate this new direct so we're gonna see metroid prime one remake we're gonna see fire emblem heroes getting ported to the switch <laughs> a new donkey kong game called donkey kong rocket rescue absolutely <laughs> <laughs> Animal Crossing New Leaf 2 A new Mario Kart Mario Kart 9 We're getting a Mario Kart 9 With tease. Star Fox characters Yeah Then um, <clears throat> A new Smash Bros game <coughs> I think we'll nix that one I think, I think we're nixing Smash Bros It really wanted to put Smash Bros in Understandably, because it's in almost every direct up until Ultimate ended. But I think it's too soon. 
And then Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, we got some new details that there's a lot of Pokemon from Pokemon Moon. And then Breath of the Wild 2. And he, don't forget he shoots a bird. <laughs> he shoots a bird. And the new logo. And a new logo. And um, I, I, sh I should be like transferring these somewhere. That. So make sure make sure we have all these because now we're going to now we're going to work to generate artwork for these. <coughs> so let me pull up a list on the side here. I had a list up on the side here. All right, Micah, give give them to me. I'll, I'll type them out as you as you read them off. I don't know if you can you can see it. Uh, yeah, the Metro Prime 1 remake. Okay. Uh, Fire Emblem Heroes. Donkey Kong Rocket Rescue. <laughs> All right. Animal Crossing New Leaf 2. <laughs> A new Mario Kart game. Mario Kart 9 featuring Star Fox characters. Which, can I add? Someone someone asked for that in the chat, like a new Star Fox game. We didn't mention that at all, and it pulled that one out of a hat. Like, it was just like, yep, here it is. So I think that means we'll definitely get something Star Fox related <laughs> in this direct. Yeah, it's that they're coming to Mario Kart 9. All right, what's next? Uh, we're skipping Smash Bros. Uh, Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. And then the new Zelda game. It's the farthest I can see. Okay, let me switch back. We'll scroll down. Oh, and don't forget the uh, new Animal Crossing has no sign of Tom Nook. So that changes things. I guess. I think that is so funny that it honed in on that detail. Like, there's no sign of Tom Nook. <laughs> the first thing I notice is that there's no sign of Tom Nook. <coughs> Mario Kart 9 featuring Star Fox characters. Pokemon Scarlet and Violet have Pokemon from Pokemon Moon. That was that was a, a, a big deal. And then... Marvel versus Capcom Infinite. Wait, wait. We're missing. There's also Breath of the Wild 2. Oh, didn't I say that? I don't think. Uh, maybe I missed that. I totally missed it. All right. Marvel versus Capcom. I mean, do we care about the ones that are already real games that are out with artwork? <coughs> Probably not. We'll we'll just we'll just work on generating new ones. But I, I'll get this list together so that I can I can have a list of the predictions that the AI makes. Uh, okay. okay. And then Death Stranding. Death Str Death Stranding. That's a, that 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 will surprise me when it inevitably happens. <laughs> and Tom Nook Grow is, Home. <laughs> it's written. Grow Home. Uh, Last of Us Part 2 and Ghost of Tsushima. Those are part of the montage, right? Yeah. Okay, I'm, I'm going to specifically put that in my notes here because that is hilarious. <laughs> I can't believe I can't, I can't believe it's it relegated Last of Us Part 2 and Ghosts of Tsushima to a montage. The montage, game. yeah. We probably won't do the montage games since they're all games that have already come out, essentially. So Ghost of Tsushima, what, what's next? Oh, I oh, guess. Yeah, scroll down. I gotta scroll down for you. I love for this list. You should just put the copy and paste, right? Hot diggity dog, you're right. Ooh, 
then don't forget Skyrim, The Elder Scrolls Six. Well, it's a sequel to the a sequel game to called, Skyrim. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And we ran out of credits uh, on the thing because we're just using the free trial, of the AI. Like I we, think I, my favorite name it came up with was The Elder Scrolls Six. Subtitle Skyrim, and then subtitle Blades. <laughs> Blades. Skyrim Blades. My goodness, my God. This was an absolutely packed, packed direct that that we just witnessed. Okay. So let's generate some art. What, what do you what do you say? We'll we'll see how well this works. Do it. Dali Mini uh, is a pretty new AI. So da Dali or Dali? I, I it's it's named after Salvador Dali because the AI it gener the AI art generates does look like a Salvador Dali painting. Uh, <clears throat> this is this can take in prompts and generate based off of text. So we're, we're using AI again here to generate what will be the covers for some of these games. And let's see what we get here. The only issue that we may struggle with here, we may have to kind of fill time here because this website is very popular and it is very busy. So we'll see we'll see what we'll see what happens a lot of times it just goes site is too busy or it, it gets There's too much traffic i remember the word traffic in there yeah. somewhere <coughs> this music is is gonna put put me to sleep what but what window is it in how do i how do i change it all right let's get out of here All right, there we go. Metroid Prime 1 Remake. Want to add, like, cover in? Oh, Trying yeah. Trying to get cover good, art? Good, you, are, you are right. Good thing it rejected it. Okay, I'm going to copy it in case I just need to refresh the page. Which will definitely be a thing. <laughs> nope, it's working. It's working. All right, so now we're just waiting for this to generate. We're gonna see what we get for Metroid Prime One Remake cover. <sighs> Skyrim fe featuring. Tom. I'm expecting like 4K graphics in this remake. <laughs> uh, I wouldn't expect that from this AI. <laughs> <laughs> I had some pretty horrifying images when I was testing this earlier. Uh, when when it when it predicted what we look like. Yeah, the definitely some cursed image aspect to a lot of them just the faces it can't it can't do the faces yet it's like especially the eyes well why if if this tech if that tech of just writing from scratch got paired with like all the facial blending technology <coughs> gosh you can't even see y'all's chat let's see if i can make that Make that pop a little bit better. Um, hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Although, yeah. Dasson's asking if this site is somewhat guaranteed to be family friendly. Not, Hopefully not so. I know of, at least, <laughs> actually. <laughs> uh, I don't think we will be feeding it anything that will give us anything bad. Yeah, we haven't we haven't gotten anything not family friendly. Besides potentially being too creepy for kids. Well, it's taking a long time this time. <coughs> it's working very hard. We're going to get a really cool looking thing. What happens if you have multiple up at once? There we go. I've covered the stream, everybody. All right. Now chat should show up a, a lot better. As long as I put this in, like, the back here. There we go. 
All right. <coughs> there it goes. Oh, oh. Look at them graphics. Look at those shoulders. Okay, interesting. I am trying I'm trying to move the background here so <laughs> so we can see it. It's like there's a a, a couple new uh, suit upgrades. This is an and interesting Okay, I, well, we can look at these in closer detail here. Micah, I'll I'll let you pick <laughs> between what's the best one. They look better from a distance. Oh, for sure. <laughs> How do I go? How do I go back to that? Well, I can. Okay. <laughs> that one's not too bad, but I'm a few seconds this behind. One, this one that isn't one's bad, not either, too bad either. Three of those in a row that are. <coughs> you know, yeah, the, I, I feel like the latter half are uh, pretty good. See, this is it. This Except is that last one. Okay. It could be another situation with a, a Samus clone trying to murder you so which of these do you think i i personally think the first one actually looks the best like this is very cover worthy it's just like a, a close-up on samus's like a new suit yeah there's a lot of armor there <laughs> yeah it does a lot of like, neck armor <laughs> it does seem like a lot of neck armor but yeah that the first one actually probably looks best overall Okay, I'm saving that one, and I'll also save this one. I don't know if... <coughs> the first one has a Samus unibrow. I mean, it's a visor, all right. <laughs> I, I, I can, I can see that for sure, though. <laughs> oh, okay. Um. I, 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 I'm actually very impressed with how these turned out. Some of these are a little wonky, especially at the beginning. This one's cool looking. This this one is very cool looking. These these look like really cool fan art. That one that one's just messed up. Like my shoulder pad got huge. <laughs> it's for a new upgrade where you can just tackle with just your shoulder. Oh, yeah. And then this one, this one looks like this one looks like a, a pretty solid cover. I, I, it's interesting because it gives Samus instead of like a helmet, she's wearing like a hood. Yeah. Do you see? Do you see that? Yeah. Okay. So I, I think, I think that I'll, I'll, I'll save all three of these here. <coughs> so, Metroid Prime One Remake pretty impressed with with what the ai came up with for that one next is donkey kong right i guess i have the i have maybe because like you have the list i have so many tabs open donkey kong uh rocket rescue i'm excited for this one Uh, Fire Emblem Heroes is a port of the mobile game, so I'm not going to make that. We'll just do it for new games. Just to make it more reasonable, I think. Um, <laughs> yeah, let's let's see what happens here. Donkey Kong Rocket Rescue. I... <coughs> much traffic and this is where I just I just kind of spam and hope that it works okay we'll try we'll try refreshing that was that was a lot of clicks instantly worked <laughs> <laughs> Donkey Kong has to rescue Rocket Raccoon. 
That would be an interesting uh, game. I think there might be some uh, space aspect to this one. Oh, no. You forgot to put cover? I forgot to put cover. We'll see what we get. We'll see what we get first. Because this will be like... Yeah. This will be like gameplay, I probably. I figured it was too late to yeah. try and add it in. Yeah. We'll see what we get. If if we get something that is not very cover worthy or it doesn't like really clearly, we'll we'll add in cover. I, I I'm super I'm honestly pretty impressed with what those Samus ones looked like based off of the stuff we did with the test run. <laughs> I thought we were gonna get some pretty bad looking stuff. Yeah. So what's everybody think of this uh, AI predicted direct? Any any games y'all are looking forward to that were announced, uh, that have been leaked now by the AI? I mean, this is clearly, like I said, this has got to be the most accurate prediction that we could we could come up with. I actually, so this is this is uh, our 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 buddy uh, over our buddies over at Carpool Gaming do a Nintendo podcast. And Console Kato is huge into Animal Crossing. No sparks flew out of the AI. That's true. Okay, it's it's definitely showing gameplay and Donkey Kong. <laughs> what are we seeing here? This is what Rocket Rescue... It's a 2D game. It's a 2D game. It's not a 3D game. Except for I don't see any rockets in here. I, I, that last one, I guess, could be the cover art. I don't know. I don't know what we're looking at here. This is very blob esque. <laughs> it's like you can you can see a platformer, but it just looks like. I, I don't know what we're <laughs> I don't know what we're looking at here. I can kind of see Diddy Kong here. See the hat. That's actually pretty good. Uh, way better than the AI Donkey Kong I got earlier when I was messing with this. Okay. Um, none of those were really like clear images of anything. So I'm just gonna save this one and we'll try doing cover. What do you think, Micah? Sounds good. And it's working right away. First try. Looks like fun. I would buy and play this game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it looks like a Donkey Kong game, but I took my glasses off. I'm like, oh, wow. Look yeah. at that Donkey Kong game. No sparks flew out of the AI. Yeah, that is that is nice. <coughs> yeah, out of all of these games, I'm most excited to see what it generates for the Breath of the Wild 2 logo, which we are definitely going to try. I became a whole new person without glasses. Like Superman. I just tried to reach up and adjust my glasses that aren't there. <laughs> yeah, I used I, I actually only wore, started wearing glasses fairly recently. Uh, in life, anyways. I guess I started in college, which would be how many years ago at this point? Four years ago? So... For a lot of my life, I did not wear glasses. Have I ever tried contacts? Yeah, I have. Yeah. I have bad. I, got a, I had a fun phone call about that when you tried them. Oh, you did when when I couldn't get them out. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I have. Uh, Funny bad, in hindsight. I have a bad astigmatism. I don't know if that's how you say that. A a bad stigmatism. I don't know. I don't know how that's how that's phrased. I think the A is part of it, right? I don't, I don't know. Uh, yeah. But 
because of that, my eyes are a weird shape that they, that they do not make contacts in the exact right range for. And they work not nearly good enough to warrant their use. I, I do find them more convenient in general, but like I, it's it, the vision was still... Whoa! Okay, hold on. <laughs> what is this nightmare fuel? Oh, no. Oh, I'm no. finally seeing that. Is that oh, a pillow? No. <laughs> and like a shoe or something. I like this one here. What is this? That's not too bad. He's his well, teeth. It's are... a shoe. <laughs> it's a shoe. This is just absolutely horrifying. I I don't even know what to say about this. <laughs> is that an arm <laughs> coming out of like? How do you think his back? And it's like this is this is Salvador Dali right here, like. Okay, I kind of see it. I kind of see it. He's got too many eyes, but there's like a rocket in the back there. Is that what that is? I think that's what that is. It has to be it, right? Like, and it's like on the cover. <laughs> what is this thing that it is trying to force into here? Like this just blob. <laughs> I got nothing. Yeah, I have no <laughs> idea. It looks like a suitcase. A uh, suitcase. Uh, what am I thinking of? We're camping. Okay. Well, keep you warm. I like this whatever one. Whatever those are called. I like this one. We'll keep this one, and we'll keep the one with the three eyes. The one that's on a pillow. Yeah, I, I think this is supposed to be the cover, and maybe that's what it's doing, like a pillow cover. <laughs> Probably it. <clears throat> is cover art one word? I could do that. But we'll we'll stick with this for Donkey Kong. We got we got some we got some decent ones. What's next? That was that was way more horrifying than I was anticipating. Animal Crossing New Leaf 2. How is that? How did the AI generate that actually? I want to make sure I got that accurate here <coughs> animal crossing colon new leaf 2 okay well i just closed that okay animal crossing new leaf 2 and do cover art yeah i mean i, I feel like it works cover worked so well for metroid in the previous one we tested. Cover art is not one word. So I'm just going to go with cover, like we did with Metroid, and hope. And it's working. Apparently, apparently the site's not in much use right now. <laughs> so we're, we're golden. It's got a little timer here running. So I was talking about I was talking about contacts. We have so much in chat. Sorry, everybody. I'm like not paying attention to chat because I couldn't see because my glasses were off. <coughs> Luigi as DLC for Ghostbusters? That would be hilarious. I can only imagine. The second one would be DK's Crafted World. It's a shoe. You were you were reading the chat. People aren't at work anymore. <laughs> I feel a little called out. I feel a little called out there, Dadson. Messing with AI during work. Um, <clears throat> so my contact story, so, so it, it just didn't work the greatest because anytime I would blink, the contacts would, would come off my eyes just slightly because they were just not the right shape. Yeah. Research and development. That's true. Yeah. Um, okay. There we go. There, there we, there you have it. Animal Crossing New Leaf 2 cover. Actually, I, I think that these look pretty good. 
But we did get some details on this game. Should we add those in? Like, there's a tent. That's a prominent feature. I mean, I'm not... A tent is a good enough detail to feel the need to add it in. What were, what were the other things that said? Um... No Tom Nook. Festival. Large tent. And townspeople dancing. <laughs> there were a lot of details on this one, and I kind of want to see what it spits out. But are there any of these that you think look good for a cover? That's a little bit horrifying that one's not too bad the middle right one looks like just a real fancy art style what even, what even one? is this this like has think, maps on the bottom of it i think that one's my favorite yeah i don't know what's going on with the bottom but this this looks slightly like when you start a new game and you have to like pick your pick your map. I I I think. <laughs> I do like this one. This one's actually pretty good. <laughs> the <coughs> Yeah, that that one is actually really good. The eyes aren't too horrifying, even though they're looking in, <laughs> looking like, in the wrong. opposite directions. Okay. And you liked this one. So, so this here. I'll, 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 I'll save this one that you liked. And then we'll try it. Animal Crossing New Leaf 2. with a tent, a festival, and dancing. We'll give, it, we'll give it the details of the game and see what it gives us. Oh no, it's busy again. After we had so many good runs. like you're using this too much yes but it's for the content so dally please let us work now micah we're coming back to we're jumping back and forth here as as pictures come up we'll talk about them but uh contacts you use contacts almost exclusively how long have you been wearing contacts for so like 12 i think really you were so putting approximately contacts in your 16 eyes years, years i think so maybe it was 14 but contacts are so much better than glasses. Glasses are the worst. <clears throat> Agreed. Uh, but for me, they just don't work. So, <laughs> unless Plus, I mean, I tried like tons of different varieties because you can try them with like different thicknesses and weights that will supposedly sit better on your eye, but none of them worked and i just kept trying them and kept trying them and i was like i'm just gonna go back to glasses now the reason i wear such huge glasses uh is because first off it's cool <laughs> no uh is because i want as much vision as possible i i yeah, do not that's like one of the, the things i i dislike about glasses <laughs> most they, you lose your peripheral vision yeah yep so uh that's why i wear huge frames because it gives me the most visibility. I, I can't stand the, the smaller frames. Yeah, and Datsun says glasses have this distortion when you turn your head. Yes. Because my prescription is really strong, but uh, glasses, like, my glasses, like, warp my reality. <laughs> Even looking at my phone screen, like, a foot from my face, it bulges out at me a do little you, bit. Do you have the glasses handy? Like, Michael wears uh, I don't. thick glasses. Like, like... They're the expensive ones, so they're not thick, and they're real thick. <laughs> yeah, they're they are they are very thick lenses. And when you, I, I, this looks just like like we're getting gameplay trailers now. Like what? This looks oh, yeah, really good. good. 
As long as you don't look at the people's faces. <laughs> This one even has some, like, speech bubbles on it. Well, what does it say? It is, it is garbly gook. Like, little music notes. Yeah, that's now I mean, looking I at think them, adding in the extra details looks like we get more, uh, It looks better from gameplay. a, it Look looks at, better from a distance. <laughs> like, like, looking at all of these close up, they are all, like, very blurry and smeary. So what I'm going to do for this one is I'm just going to take a screen capture of all of the <coughs> things, like, like, of all of these right, right here. Good old snipping tool. Perfect. Alrighty, everybody. That is that is Animal Crossing New Leaf 2. It looks like it's going to have a very painterly art style. <laughs> I, I am liking this. this. These are turning out so good. So my plan here is, uh, in in the video version of this, we'll 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 kind of hop skip through all the stuff that we're going on stream, and then at the end I will combine everything to be in like a little in in a little mini direct format. That's my plan. I think I think that this will be I think that this will be a hilarious video because this that. That AI generated direct script was so so good. <clears throat> I'm surprised how well this worked. Micah was kind of doubtful that it would even <laughs> spit out anything game related. Um, yeah, well, yeah. We I, watched it did real good at previously known stuff. Yeah, we watched recently uh both of us watched a video by Doug Doug uh which uh check it check it out. It's it's pretty cool. Um not family friendly not family friendly at all but the the video was interesting in that he used ai and basically made video game characters fight in a bracket and uh it was very entertaining it was very entertaining <laughs> which i <laughs> so uh then a combination of that and then i was messing around with this uh dally ai image software and i was like actually with these combined powers we could AI generate what the next Nintendo Direct will have. So let's go on to our next cover here. Um, Mario Kart 9 featuring Star Fox characters. Yeah, featuring Star Fox, Bowser Jr., and Yoshi. Mario Kart 9 featuring Star Fox... Do I put Star Fox characters? Or should I just put um, Star Fox? Uh, just put Star Fox, I think. I don't want to confuse it too much, I guess. I don't yeah, know. Star Fox, Yoshi, and Bowser Jr. I feel like AI could generate the weird anime games they constantly release in directs. What, what are you talking about, Datsun? I, like, in directs? I know, I know that like if you go to the eShop, there's just like a ton of anime-esque games that all have very video gamey sounding titles, and they all have some like anime waifu on the front. Like, like it, it, there's just a bunch of that on the eShop. They do, they do kind of all look the same. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to I'm going to do this without putting cover art. We'll see what we get first for that. And then <clears throat> And then we'll see Oh, I was Second try. Nice. 
and then we'll see what what uh, what that generates. If it doesn't generate anything that's like cover art worthy, then then we'll try putting in cover. Back to my dislike of glasses. But yes. Like, yes. The I I don't like how with my glasses the once again I I don't know if this is just a really strong prescription thing, but uh, the edges of my glasses, what I see, does not line up with what I see out of my peripheral vision. Mm -hmm. So it it's especially dangerous when walking downstairs because I kind of see a double set of stairs. And I have to make sure to just be like looking straight down at them or just not look at all. Look very far away so I don't see like two sets of stairs that I'm trying to walk down because I have so, almost injured myself doing that. So here's here's two questions for you. Have you ever considered getting LASIK? And is it even is that even a possibility for you? Because I know for like certain really bad uh, eyesight and prescriptions, it's like not recommended because it's because they have to do too much. If that makes any sense. Yeah, yeah. Like it was um, yeah, not I've rec my, considered it. My father in law went and uh, they were like, don't recommend doing it with you know, like you're on the line of it being a little bit too close. For how much we have yeah, to do. Yeah, I've thought about it, but I mean, uh, it mostly I think depends on like the thickness of your lenses or something like that, how much they can like shape it. <laughs> so I, I don't know how feasible it would be for me because I haven't bothered to actually like, go in and get it checked out. Yeah, so I feel like it would be extremely convenient, but the idea of LASIK is absolutely horrifying to me. I, I think I am too much of a wuss to be able to do it. I, I don't think I could do it. I mean, you didn't even like putting your contacts in your eyes, right? Right. I'm like, yeah. I can poke myself in the eye all day long. Yeah, there's just like <laughs> I mean, so I'd much. Take they, them they... out and put them in thousands of times at this point. So, and they they say not to look it up, uh, and I haven't. But Don't every do that with any surgery, every story I have heard has been like it is absolutely horrifying, but so worth it. And I'm like, I, that just doesn't sound good to me okay so there's yoshi it really liked yoshi and that is all we got we got a lot of yoshi <laughs> yeah i think that uh, the first one has a little bit of bowser jr there's no star fox in this at all nope maybe we just leave out all of them except star fox i i think i think that's what we're gonna have to do What's Yoshi doing in the third picture? Well, he jumped out of his vehicle and he's running on the wheel to just show how fast he can run. <laughs> yeah, Ex awesome. Extra speed for his car. <laughs> it, are, are any of these keepable, you think, though? And that's not bad. I think the first one might kind of be the best. It looks like it's supposed to kind of be showing two carts with Bowser Jr. and Yoshi, but they're very abstract. <laughs> the second Maybe one... Maybe it's a, a double dash kind of a thing. The second one isn't too... Yeah, just like Dasson says. Yeah, but he has like a gill or something. <laughs> yeah, what is that? Okay, we're going to say no to any of these. That, uh, that is interesting. It really honed in on Yoshi. Mario Kart 9 featuring Star Fox. But, I mean, uh, granted, these all are, like, cover art poses for sure. Like, oh, this could be on the cover. Okay. Second try. Is, second try again. Um, yeah, so LASIK's a no for me. Think of all the potential money you'd save. On having to buy glasses and, and take care of the glasses. Yeah, it's, it's, a little, it's a little more... It's a better argument if you do uh, contacts. Yeah. Although you do have to replace your glasses fairly regularly. You're supposed to replace yeah, plus them. Plus, if, if they get scuffed up... Yep. 
which they they do easily get scuffed up after a certain amount of time the like stuff they put on them wears off at least that's what my eye doctor was like yeah the protective coating and all that stuff wears over time and yeah that's just what they want you to think at first or they engineer it to be that way when wearing glasses at first i had a really hard time like any smudge any smear was just so annoying to me. I, I would it's be constantly terrible. cleaning my glasses. And I have just gotten used to it at this point. Like, it it took a long time, but I've just gotten used to not having, or not cleaning my glasses and then being pretty dirty. Just You don't really have that with contacts. Right. Which is why they're so much better. It, the AI does not know what Star Fox is. There is no Star Fox in this either. <laughs> What is that fourth one? Is that Falco I see as a part? Yeah, the, the AI has nothing. None of, none of this has Star Fox in it. Maybe it's the featuring, but... Probably not. Mario Kart 9 with Star Fox? With... Well, I'd just leave out the with or any connecting That sense says try Fox instead of Star Fox, but I am very scared that that would just give us a Fox. <laughs> like like an actual real Fox. Um, Maybe we put a space in there. How about with Fox McCloud? See what we'll see what this does. Okay. We'll see what we get here. <coughs> yeah, this is the fun part of the video, everybody, where we just kind of sit here and, and wait for the AI to generate stuff for, for pictures. Um Maybe I can open up a, a new. A new story. Novel. Novel AI. Do you think it will know? Maybe? That I'm coming in from a different. It probably just automatically sends the cops to your house. <laughs> Yeah, it does know. <laughs> <laughs> you have zero actions left. The AI cops. What do the AI cops look like? <laughs> the thought police are coming to your house. They use AI to predict that you're committing a crime against AI. Maybe... Making this video will put us in good favor with the robots when they take over. Like, we were some of the first to believe that the robots could make direct. Or maybe they'd be offended that we didn't pay them for their services. <laughs> Listen, the Nintendo Pals bank account is pretty low at the moment. <laughs> so, I think they'd understand. Pretty sure that was a movie. <laughs> yeah. The Minority Report? Uh, Maybe. Who's, who could say? I'm trying to think. I don't think there's actually, like, any AI that they have in Minority Report. Just psychics. Oh, it's psychics that they use? I thought that it was I, a, AI. Uh, it's a, a trio of psychics. She found out pretty early on, I think. Yeah. Hang on. There he is. Sort of. He is very weird looking. What is it? It's Fox. You can see the, you can see the ears? Yeah. Well, I was saying, tail. what isn't weird looking in this? I mean, those... don't forget that weird foot coming out of his vehicle looks like. <laughs> you can see, like, the big toe, <laughs> the big toenail on it. 
I feel like that's like just a bump in the road. Now that red thing on the left it looks like a lake, and then it comes down. And I can see like four toes and a big toe. <laughs> I thought that was his hand, but I guess this could also be his hand. Okay, so that out of these, I think that's the best one. Well, I think there's actually the the bottom left one was fox-ish as well. This. Yes, that one. It's a little. I I, I sort of see it, I guess. Yes, <laughs> it's. It's like someone just scribed Fox to someone, and they tried to paint them. <laughs> and they tried to paint it. Okay, so I'll, I'll take and this one And they're also not a good painter. I'm going to give this one one more go. We're going to go Fox. Star Fox. In Mario Kart. That'll be our last go at this one. So close. So close. This takes, I mean, what are these taking about three minutes a piece? Just pretty fast, all things considered. Not as fast as the text based AI generation. This was so fun, man. I'm like, I'm like, I, 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 I was pretty excited to, to do this, to do this one. And what a hype direct we got from the AI. Uh, who hypes? No. When, yeah. Prime when, four. When freaking garbage the, direct. The Last of Us Part Two is in your montage. You know it's a good direct. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It has to be stacked for that to happen. I, I'm excited to edit this all together into a video as well, and make a fake direct. I, I'm that that direct is gonna be like maybe five minutes long. <laughs> I'm just gonna go through and kind of read as is, and then I'll make a montage of the last games. Be good, good use of uh, a good a good try at editing, I think. Yeah, it sounds like it'd be a blast. I, uh, what I'm hearing is Micah's volunteering to edit this video. <laughs> hmm. I'm like, you might need to get your hearing checked. <laughs> yeah. Can you speak Japanese? Subtitle yourself? What I should do is just take the Japanese direct and then voice over. Mu alerted me that there is a message here. I wonder who it could be from. Yes, for me. I, if you need to bail, you can bail. <laughs> is yeah, this... We gotta let this one load and then... Okay. Wait a second, is that timer not going anymore? No, no, it's working. Did I pause? The... No? no, no. Oh, <laughs> what? what is that? That's Star Fox looking backwards, obviously. We're not getting very good, very good art for this one. Uh, no. I wonder what happened if you just did like Star Fox. Like, does it know who Fox really is? <laughs> yeah, I know it's kind of gone some close-ish <laughs> approximations. Well, Micah, you got a bail, so I, yeah. I, I'll, fin I'll finish these out here. Yeah, I'll have to look at the images later, see how they all turned out. <laughs> but... All right. Peace out. Peace out, y'all. Okay, so let's let's move on to the next one here. Um, I, I will I will save this one. And what do you guys think we should what do you think we should try here? 
I, I, like, I don't know what else we could do to get a new Mario Kart 9 trailer that looks Mario Kart 9 cover with Star Fox. Okay, we'll, we'll try this last one here. See if we can get something to generate that will look a little bit more realistic here. So let's hide Micah's window there. So how's everybody doing? Now it's just me. Good thing I can monologue pretty well. <clears throat> but I gotta say I have been very tired lately. So I'm I'm feeling I'm feeling the the downwind here. As we are it's it's later. Like this took way longer than I anticipated. Um I'll talk a little bit about Mario Strikers. I have been playing quite a bit. Well, not quite. I I've been playing a couple matches every day. And it's frustrating. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not very good from what I, from what I'm learning uh, and and other people online are already very good so I don't I don't know exactly it seems like I get my goalie does not block any shots and their goalie blocks every shot. So I like I I I don't know exactly what they're doing to get the goalie to not block. It seems like there's like some strategy to passing to opposite ends of the field. <coughs> and kind of doing this like man-to-man -man defense that works really well, but it just I just can't get the hang of it. I I feel like I am just so much slower than everybody else. And it's not the speed in the game, but just like I'm not thinking fast enough to keep up with where the goalie is at versus where the players are at. There's just a lot going on on screen. A lot going on on screen. Uh, I got, I, I have won some, but I, it seems like I, I lose two out of three and then we'll like win about a third of the time. Which I guess isn't awful as I'm learning how to play, but I was hoping I would be better at the game. And it's interesting that for the club matches, which is what I've been primarily playing. There we go. There we go. Look at that. What did we do that changed that? Now now it's showing Star... Like, that's Star Fox and Mario. This one has two Star Foxes. <laughs> what? We just had to put on cover. Center top is great. Yeah, that is that is pretty good. It's it's a little fuzzy. But like this one here, you can clearly see it is Fox in a fight with like Mario. And this looks like a cover. These are all pretty good. This one's a little blurry. Okay. Which of these is my favorite? I, I, I actually really like this first one here. So we'll, we'll save a screenshot of that one. I agree with Datsun. This one's pretty good. Good action pose. This one is a little confusing. This is like Luigi. <laughs> I'll say no to that one. What is with Mario's eyes? <laughs> like bulging out of his head. <laughs> All right, let's go here. I like this one, even though it's it doesn't really make sense. I like it. And this one is a little fuzzy, but I I do I do like the posing that they have there. No to that one, and no to that one. That's some good stuff. I feel I feel much better about that versus what we had previously. Like those are all really good. 
I, yeah, wow. The thing is, all we did was add cover. And that somehow made it like, oh yeah, Star. this is what Star Fox is, here you go. Like, it couldn't get Fox to appear earlier, and now we've got Star Fox popping up really prominently. Okay, so, so next new game on the list to generate artwork for. We already have Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Breath of the Wild 2's new logo. Okay, so what we're going to do here is the sequel... I don't know how well this does with logos. It seems like text is kind of, as you can see here, like it's like trying to do text, but we can, we can try it. The sequel to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Logo. What are we gonna get? What are we gonna get? Let's roll the dice. Let's roll the dice again. Okay, let's roll it one more. Mm -hmm. Now we're rolling the dice. <laughs> oh boy. I'm pretty pumped for this. This is probably gonna look really bad. <laughs> While that's generating, While that's generating, I want to come through here and let's read through the direct one more time. I mean, it's been, it's been a little bit since we went through the presentation. So, with E3 canceled yet again, Nintendo fans begin to wonder if there will be a summer direct for Nintendo. 20, oh, wait, let me, let me hide these. Boop, boop. All right. With E3 canceled yet again. Nintendo fans begin to wonder if there will be a summer D Nintendo Direct for 2022. Many rumors swirl about the possible, uh, the possibility of a Direct coming in mid-June. Rumors of a new Fire Emblem game, a Donkey Kong game, a Metroid Prime 1 remake have floated online. Nintendo fans are hopeful to see the sequel to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, Metroid Prime 4, and of course a new 3D Mario game, which we didn't get. We actually didn't get. The AI did not generate that. People expect to see more info on Xenoblade Chronicles 3, Splatoon 3, and Bayonetta 3. None of that. It was all new stuff. <laughs> Do you think there's graphic designers phoning it in? I think you can't get away with it quite yet, but maybe soon. Now, writing up scripts for a future direct that this can that that might be phoning it in on <coughs> oh boy here we go <laughs> what is that Link is horrifying looking. <laughs> it just generated, it just generated the cover. That's it, that's the cover. <laughs> it's very similar to the last game, but this one has a tower. <laughs> wow! I I am actually I'm actually amazed by what we're seeing here. Like it's it's done a pretty good job. This is horrifying, but it's it's also pretty good. Where's the one of him just kind of sitting here? Like this this is pretty good. Here's some gameplay. You can see him looking at like a skull. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna feed it some more stuff here because I, I I like I like how 
how that one turned out. I, I mean, Link is horrifying, but this thing just cannot do faces. So what are the details we got on this one? Um, trailer for a new Zelda game. In the trailer, we see Link riding his horse... Running across fields, then fighting an enemy, climbing up a mountain, <laughs> using a bow and arrow to shoot a bird. I, I feel like that's what we need to hone in on here. Of all the scenes we need to see, Link uses a bow to shoot a bird. Link looks like he merged with Coco from Animal Crossing. That's so true. He's got the Coco eyes. You're right. Oh, for a second there, I thought that was just going to work first try. Second try. Second try. We've got it. <coughs> that was impressive, honestly. I, I, I am amazed because what this AI, this AI is doing this all from absolutely nothing. Like, I, I'm not giving it any images. It is just using the text and its online database of what things like that look like to make a brand new image. And uh, it's pretty fascinating technology. Now, I got to say that I, I, while coming through ideas for, for what I landed on for doing this stream and, and uh, this video, is like, how funny would it be if we completely auto-generated our podcast? And so that is a future video I will be doing for sure. I'm going to use AI to completely make Nintendo Pals. And for that, I'm going to need to feed my voice into a, an, an AI voice generator and see if I can get it to work for, uh, for that. And then we'll have the script be completely generated Okay, okay. Look at that arm. Very skinny arm. Wow. Wow! What? This is... That looks, that, that's it. That's the cover right there. That looks like, I mean, just clean up the details a little bit. It's a little fuzzy, but that looks like the cover of a Zelda game. And then I like this one here because it's just silly looking. <laughs> okay, now, now I got to know. what this looks like because it also told us he'd be on a horse in a field so let's let's see what we get for that guys we we're we are we've cracked the code here we're seeing footage of the game way before anybody else right now <laughs> like when the game launches and it looks exactly like this everybody's going to be completely shocked and all of us here, all, all, every, all, the, all the live viewers here tonight are going to be like, we knew. We knew because we utilized technology for our predictions. No more of this, like, Samus Hunter. No more of this, uh, I'm trying to think of, like, other prominent leakers. Emily Rogers. Jeff Grubb. Get all the, nah. They don't know what they're talking about. They don't know. Obviously, AI is where it's at. That's where we're going to see the best predictions. Like, move over, insiders. We have it. We have it unlocked. We know before Nintendo knows. That's, that's, that's where we're at <laughs> with tonight's stream. If Elder Scrolls 6 gets announced <laughs> for, 
for coming to Nintendo Switch. I am going to flip out. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to flip out. Not because I'm excited for Elder Scrolls Six, which which I, I would be. I, I, I think Skyrim's a lot of fun. I've been I've been actually wanting to pick that one up again. Uh, I borrowed it from a friend to play on the Switch, and it's the first time I beat the game. Like actually did the main quest all the way through. Um, I've, I've been wanting to pick it up again because I was having so much fun with it. Um, but because of this video, because of this stream and what the AI gave us. I mean, I like, like, let's just look at, let's look back at this again. I, I keep having to adjust my stream here, but <clears throat> the presen the presentation starts with Yoshiaki Koizumi showing off a trailer for Metroid Prime 1 for a Metro Prime 1 remake. He plays through a section of the game showing Samus as she explores a space station. Then he goes into some gameplay footage. Finally, he says the game will be released in 2022. Shinya Takashi. Who is Shinya Takashi? Wait a second. Oh, oh no, no, yeah, yeah, that's, uh, yeah, yeah, okay, that's, that's what, that, that is Shinya Takashi, but I, like, mixed up the names there, I was like, that doesn't look right, okay, Shinya Takashi, I've already, I've already read that, I'm reading the same paragraph again, I'm, no, 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 I'm not, no, I'm not, okay, okay, I'm confusing myself so bad here, you guys tell I'm really tired, Shinya Takashi shows us a new trailer for Fire Emblem Heroes showing Krom, Corrin, and Lucina, battling against an enemy. He then goes into some gameplay footage. He says that Fire Emblem Heroes will be available in 2022. I I feel like Fire Emblem fans would actually be very excited for that. Excuse me? He is a little disproportionate. <laughs> Look at his legs. Look at his little legs on the horse. <laughs> what is happening here? This is pretty. That's actually really good. Again, a little disproportionate, but that's actually pretty good as well. What is that? What is this? It's generating such good photos. This one's Link, like, next to somebody with a horse. This horse doesn't have a head. It has two uh, two behinds. Saving that, though. That's, that's, that's too good. I don't know what happened here. And, and even, it's like, like, painting things in the background just like they do in the game. Oh, yeah, we're a new Tetris 99 of, of something like that. All right. I have saved enough of these. I need to get out of Breath of the Wild. We need to move on to the next to the next item here, which is... Um... Well, Death Stranding, we already have... Grow Home already exists. Last of Us Part 2, Ghost of Tsushima, Kung Fury. I, I the Kung Fury 2 doesn't exist. So that one needs to be... That one needs to be in there. Um, And then I guess, since we don't really have much for Elder Scrolls 6, we'll, we'll throw that in as well. We'll see what we get for that. And Fez 2. Okay, so we've got three more games to do. Kung Fury 2. So let's let's do that first. Kung Fury 2. Should we throw cover on this? I don't know. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Okay, now that one's starting off, so let's let's come back here to the presentation cuz I want to I I I love all the details it gives. 
on some of these games because we're, we're we we got break these down here. So next we get a new trailer. We next we see the new trailer, a new game in the Donkey Kong series. That's my bad for grammatically messing that up. It looks like Donkey Kong is riding a rocket ship through a jungle while Diddy Kong is chasing him. The final scene shows Donkey Kong falling out of the rocket ship and landing on a giant turtle. The game will be called Donkey Kong Rocket Rescue, and it will be available in 2022. I, I, I think that this is funny uh, because it really honed in on this whole rocket ship thing, <laughs> which I don't know where it would have got this from. Like, like this is just completely like it, it just made this whole game up. <coughs> Back of a giant turtle. That feels very Donkey Kong like. So it'll be like on a new island. Um, then we get to see a trailer for Animal Crossing New Leaf 2. It seems like villagers are preparing for a festival. They're building a stage and setting up chairs. There's also a large tent being built in the background. When the camera zooms in on the tents, you see a bunch of animals inside them. So it's like showing, you, you see them all preparing, you see them all building up the, building up the camp, building up the tent, and then it zooms in. And, and as like it's finished being built, you come in, it opens up, and you see a bunch of animals inside, but not Tom Nook. Tom Nook is not featured in the trailer at all. But then you hear a dog barking. <laughs> <laughs> and then we get to see the townspeople dancing in front of the stage, which I am assuming is inside the big tent. And then you get to see the mayor walking around the village. Is the mayor the player character, you think? I mean, since it's New Leaf 2, that has to be the case, right? You, that's that's what we're... <coughs> that's what we're going to see here. Oh, uh, and Johnson, I apologize. Don't, didn't see your message earlier. Thanks for, thanks for hanging out. Have a good night. All right, Kung Fury 2. Oh, I do I do like how these look. These are very stylized. The, yeah, this actually turned out really good. All, all of these look really good. I don't know which ones of these I should keep. Um... I like this last one for sure. I like that one. I don't know what's going on here. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what that is. <coughs> All right. I, I think I think those are that's a pretty good sampling there. Okay, let's move on to the to the next item here, which was Fez to cover. It has to tell us it's busy at least once, but then it comes back. Ooh. Yeah. Okay, so then after the whole Animal Crossing trailer, which would absolute like people would go nuts. People would would go nuts for that. After that, we get to see a trailer for a new Mario Kart game. And it's just like a new Mario Kart game, and then this one has characters from Star Fox, Yoshi, Bowser's Jr., B Bowser Jr. and more. Like Bowser Jr. has his own like genre of games. <laughs> um and that's all the details we get on that one. And then it mentions Smash Bros. Because it just really would not let go of Smash Bros. So then, then, let's take, we can just take that out. 
Then we get to see a trailer for the new Pokemon game, Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. The Pokemon in this game seem to be based off the Pokemon that appeared in Pokemon Moon. Which, I don't know what that means, but that's all the details that the AI gives. It's like, that's all you get to know. Is that Pokemon Moon, Pokemon are going to be prominent in this game. Finally, we get to see a new trailer for the new Zelda game. In this trailer, we see Link riding his horse and running across the fields. Then we see him fight against an enemy. Then we see Link climbing up a mountain. We also see him using the bow and arrow to shoot down a bird. At the end of the trailer, we get to see a new logo for the new game. Um, I guess I didn't generate the logo. Well, uh, no, I tried logo, and that just, that just didn't work. We'll probably just take a fan logo off. Off the internet. Yeah, well... You can shoot birds in Breath of the Wild. Then at the... Yeah, okay. So next we see some games from third parties. And that, that we fed it because it was just giving us first party and it was just giving us repeats at this point. So it's like, okay, let's get some new stuff in here. Another new trailer for a game called Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite. This game has characters from all over Marvel Comics and Street Fighter. So we'll probably just straight copy pull the trailer for that and put that into uh, this, this, this fake direct. A new trailer for a port of Death Stranding. And it seems like this game... <laughs> What is this? What is this music? <laughs> Sounds rhythm heaven like. To the legendary Starfy. So it seems like the game that has Kojima as the main character. All right, let's 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 head and see what we got. Oh, it did pretty good. That does look like Fez. So Fez 2 is just Fez 1 again. <laughs> I, I am so excited about how this is turning out. Like this these look so good. Did I already download this one? If not, I'll download it again. That one looks like it actually has the player character in it. He's kind of weird looking though. But sure. All of these look really good. frozen while I uh, take a screenshot there so we're saving saving that one under Fez 2 all right so then lastly you should call this the Nintendo indirect <laughs> I, I do I do like that uh, I want yeah I I wonder if I could just feed the script because I can copy paste the script so I'll, I'll just copy that into a word document and I wonder if I can feed that into like an AI generated voice maybe tweak it up and see if it will like generate a robot voice. Either that or I'll have to be voicing over myself, which is fine. We'll see, we'll, I'll see, I'll see what I can find for like a text to speech. <coughs> All right. So next is Elder Scrolls 
Six. Oh gosh, I spelled scrolls so wrong. Elder Scrolls Six. Uh, cover? I'll probably just go with Elder Scrolls Six. We'll see what this generates first. This music's very good. Imagine an AI generated video of of this direct. Yeah. I mean, we're getting we're getting like the technology is getting so advanced in that regard. I mean, you see a lot of stuff with like deep fakes. If if I really wanted to like put a whole bunch of time, I could like deep fake Reggie Fisame <laughs> into the direct. It wouldn't work. I don't I don't uh, I don't have anybody to to put Reggie Fisame's face on. <laughs> I am I am not a big enough guy. I'm I'm way too thin, so I couldn't I couldn't do it on me. But yeah, that would that would be that would be interesting. This this technology fascinates me. It is really interesting, and I clearly am a child and have a lot of fun just like messing around with stuff like this. I remember this is gonna, I'm gonna sound old here. I remember when like apps first came into existence, and there weren't very many, and a lot of them were things like change your voice or auto generate farts and uh <laughs> i remember there was like one that you could fake a phone call it would it would dial your phone and like call you like you were getting a phone call and then it would read a script to you so you would know what to say and it would give you excuses to get out of any situation this is like early 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 apps There was one that was like a lightsaber and it made lightsaber noises when you waved your phone around. That was that was all the app did. Those were the times, man. And so like <laughs> I just I, that doesn't really have anything to do with this other than like funny apps I just like to mess with. I just like to mess with stuff like this. AI that can generate images based off of text you give it. That's that's up my alley. I first like started uh, messing with uh, AI. There's a, an app called AI Dungeon where you basically play like a text-based video game. What is this? What is this? It looks pretty good. A little a little abstract. But like that's just straight up like a screen like. From a distance here, that just looks straight up like a screenshot of the game. They 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 definitely captured the vibe. None of those in particular look like a good cover though, so I'm gonna I'm going to make a collage here. I'll collect all of those. Oh man, I'm so excited to put this together. This has been such a fun stream as well. I, I really am enjoying myself. <laughs> I hope everybody watching is having a good time as well. <coughs> not my typical stream, not my typical game gaming stream, but I thought this would be a lot of fun to to do as part of like a live a live thing. Elder Scrolls Six cover. Right away, it's working this time. All right. So then, so then we come down here in the in the dialogue. Uh, we get a new trailer for Grow Home. I randomly picked that game of of all games. Uh, which it's it's kind of old. I think it came out in 2015, from what I saw. And I don't know if it was actually released on the Xbox 360 and PS3, but. It might have been. <laughs> it was a puzzle platformer where you play as a plant who wants to grow bigger and stronger. 
Next, we see a montage of games from a variety of developers, including a new trailer for the game for a game called The Last of Us Part Two. The trailer shows Ellie and Joel walking through a forest. We also see a group of people wearing animal masks. And we also see a girl with a gun. So I don't I don't know how exactly I'm going to pull that off, but we'll see. <coughs> this is tomorrow's project. I will not have time to edit this tonight. Probably won't finish tomorrow either, but man, I'm 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 looking forward to putting this together. A new trailer for a game called Ghost of Tsushima. Seems like the game is set in Japan during the 12th century. The main character is a samurai who fights against Mongols. Is that the actual plot of the game? Is that actually what you do? I haven't played Ghost of Tsushima. Let me look it up here. Ghost of Tsushima. Oh yeah, okay. The game features a large open world. Uh, no, 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 no. In 1274, a Mongol fleet led by Koten, Koton Khan invades the Japanese island of Tsushima. Local samurai. Okay. Oh, that is exactly the plot. So, not didn't have to stretch very far to get to that one. <laughs> All right. Let's let's see what we let's see what we got here. That is cool. That is cool looking. What is that? It's just a bunch of like burly dudes in armor. All of these look like they could be cover. I like, like, you know, th this is this is very concept art form. I really like that first one. That is very, that is very cool. Yeah, and here we go. End up downloading all of these. They just all turned out really good. I like that one a lot as well. This last one, not so much. I feel, I feel like it cut its head. It cut his head off. It went for a more like pencil art drawing th thing there. Do we have any more requests before we close out here uh, on things to to generate? I think I'm going to try Donkey Kong one more time. I know we, we gave that one a, a good go, but I'm going to put Donkey Kong, specifically Donkey Kong riding a rocket over a giant turtle. Tom Nook looking sad. <laughs> Uh-oh, we're stuck. No, we're not. You just have to wait. You just have to wait a little bit of time. I have one more that I'm going to generate after this. That has nothing to do with this direct. But I think we all need to know. What does Plock 2 look like? What does that look like? These are, these are the... We're, we we have access to special powers here. We can make any game exist now. This is no longer for predict. I mean, obviously the AI did not predict any plot. I also find it funny, like what the AI didn't do, because we fed it we fed it info, we fed it information like Xenoblade Chronicles three, Splatoon three, and Bayonetta three. It didn't bite on any of that, and it didn't bite on Metroid Prime four. 
Uh, but it did do Breath of the Wild. It did do a Donkey Kong game. It did take Fire Emblem. And then beyond that, uh, it decided itself to pick Mario Kart. Pokemon. And then a bunch of bunch of ports. <laughs> we didn't give it any info on ports. We just said third parties. <laughs> and apparently the only third party is PlayStation. Oh, I'm very excited to see what we're going to get here. I'm very excited. Oh, yeah, okay. I'll finish up reading the script here. Okay, so... And then some brand new indie games, such as Never Before... Such as Never Before... In, such as Never Before Seen titles, such as Kung Fury 2, Space Team, Astrobot Rescue Mission, Super Cloud Built, Fez 2... Which, why Fez 2? Of all the things, it's a game that's, like, specifically been canceled. It's like, yep, that's gonna happen. And then Battle Right Royale. Finally, Yoshiaki Koizumi closes the presentation. But wait, he says, we still have one more thing to show you. The screen fades to black, and then we see a trailer for a new game. It seems like this game is a sequel to a game called Skyrim. This game is the Elder Scrolls 6. And then it tried to give it the subtitle of Skyrim Subtitle Blades, where you get to play as Blades. Not 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 a thing that <laughs> needs to happen. Whoa! Whoa! Wait, what? What is this? <laughs> I, just, I don't know what's going on here. <laughs> I I don't I I don't know. This is uh, like this picture here. I I just don't understand. Like Donkey Kong is, and that's not a rocket. Is that the turtle? And that's the rocket ship? Who knows? That one does look like Donkey Kong riding on... <coughs> I think this one here, for sure. I mean, you can, you can clearly see the turtle and the rocket. Donkey Kong's a little bit fuzzy. They all look better from a distance. They definitely all look better from a distance. But that's okay. All right, let's see here. Lastly, we'll close out here with Plock 2. Will the AI even know what this is? Do cover for this one. I am going to wager not. It's not going to know what to do. That's that's my guess. Yeah. I think as much as I can, I'll try and pull details from this. Which I should copy even just in case. I don't want to lose it. And I 
have that saved on the side here. Yeah, so definitely, uh, if anybody is interested, check out Novel AI, which does a really good job with their uh, AI. Uh, there's a free trial, which is what we used up this evening. Uh, but $10 a month if you want to use the service for longer. I'm sure you can cancel that at any time. It's, it's pretty fun. Uh, there's also AI Dungeon. If you haven't tried that, I, I recommend giving that a shot. That one's a lot of fun. I I really enjoyed playing that one uh, with my wife, and I think we had Micah there when we, we played it once. It's just, like, so random and so funny. Text-based adventure game, essentially, that auto-generates the story as you go. The, the problem that you see a lot with these with these AI programs is they get caught in loops. And, uh, like, we saw that a lot when we were generating this, right? Like, it kept trying to f throw in Smash Bros, Ultimate, and um, there was another game it was, like, pushing over and over again. Oh, yeah, Donkey Kong Tropical Freeze. And it would not, and it would not get unstuck out of that. Uh, but typically, you just throw a couple new variables in, and then it kicks it back into gear. I feel like regular intelligent people have the same problem. It's true. It's true. It's so that's funny. <laughs> I mean, I just repeat the same kind of stuff all the time. On this on this Nintendo on on Nintendo Pals. It's a lot of repetition. It knows what Plock is! Oh my goodness. Wow. I can't believe it. A lot of these are really good. Like, like this one here. That's, that is pretty great. I'm, I'm guessing this is his eyes and he's got like a big smiley face. I don't know what's going on with this one. This is like Plock mixed with Gumby. And this is him, like, exploded. Wow. We are breaking new ground here, everybody. Finally, we know what Plock 2 is going to look like. Of all of these, I think I think the first one and the last one are my favorite. That that one. <coughs> yeah, I'll go with the last one as well. I'm saving like everything. Well, that's gonna do it for tonight's stream. Uh, it looks like we had a, quite a few people drop off, but such is the case, you know. Thank you so much to everybody who tuned in. Um, let's come back here. Thanks, Dad, son. Yeah. I was so excited for when I came up with the idea, which was sort of inspired from a lot of different factors. Uh, but definitely shout out to Doug Doug, who uh, started the, the spark of an idea. Um. Yeah, so thanks to everybody for watching. I guess that's the, for to for the YouTube side of things. If you liked what you watched here today, uh, be sure to like, subscribe, leave a comment with what you think will be in the next direct. Uh, did the AI get it right? We'll see. We'll see when the direct comes. I think. I think. I think we nailed it. I do. 
Yeah. Smash that like button. Why don't you just like go in and you write your AI to uh <laughs> now now I actually really want to new incognito window. I'll see if I'll see if this works. No, it knows. It knows that we still are here. But if I close out of all of this, what happens? Because <coughs> that's an incognito window. Here I am, like, on stream. <laughs> hacking my way around. <laughs> Oh, it still knows. How does it know, though? Probably uses something with tokens. Oh, nope, nope. It's giving me a reset one. Y'all can see that? Yeah, okay. So, um... Andros and Micah are Nintendo podcasters and YouTubers. They just made an amazing video about an AI generated Nintendo Direct. As they close out, they say, Hey, hey, wait a second. And that bot. All right. As they close out, they say, "What are we gonna say here? What's what's gonna happen?" Nintendo is a company that knows how to surprise us, so let's keep our eyes open. I love it. <laughs> a couple of weeks ago we were discussed no, okay let's keep our eyes open be sure to let's see let's let's see if we can get it to say like subscribe to subscribe for more Nintendo content. Wow, I said to myself. They actually got it right. Andros and Micah were spot on with their predictions. The only thing they missed was the price of the Switch, which came in at $300 and not $250. You can't win them all. You can't win them all. This is hilarious. I, I absolutely love this so much. <laughs> it would have been nice if they had gotten the price correct too. Why is it, like, why is it? <laughs> like and leave a comment. Co comment? Now I'm just messing around, everybody. Right? 
All right, this, this is where we'll end it out here. Like and leave a comment if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel for more gaming content. I watched them walk away, and then I noticed something strange. There was no way there could be another Nintendo Direct today, but here it was. I went over to the TV and turned up the volume. The screen lit up with a bright blue background and white text saying, Nintendo Direct Presentation. A woman appeared on screen, her hair pulled back in a tight ponytail, wearing a black shirt with red letters that read, Nintendo, in bold letters. She had a stern look on her face, like she wasn't happy about anything. Good morning, everyone, the woman began. We have a lot to cover, so I'm going to get right to it. Here we go. Thanks for watching, the woman began. This is Nintendo's E3 present. No, I, no, 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 I wanna end it. That like. <laughs> Thank you for watching this Nintendo Direct. Okay. <laughs> they, they really wants the story to keep going. Did I like typo Micah's name somewhere? No. I feel like that's a good end right there. Thanks for watching the Nintendo Direct, the woman began. This is the end. Tune in next time for more announcements from your favorite game company. As soon as the credits ended, <laughs> as soon as the credits rolled, I grabbed my phone and texted Micah. And that's all we've got here tonight. Thank you so much, everybody. Uh, let's see. Who we got, who we got rolling tonight? <coughs> It looks like Napsy is still streaming, so let's send a raid over to Napsy. He's a regular over here. He is celebrating his stream anniversary. And we will be back uh, Thursday for more stuff. What will happen? Who knows? Also, shout out for Datsun here in chat, who will be streaming this week. Definitely tune into that. Follow Datsun. You you will you will not want to miss it. That's 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 a guarantee. Napsy does things. I hope I spelled that right. Yep, I did. All right. <coughs> Thanks everybody for watching. Have a fantastic night. And we'll see y'all next time.